Bleaching my lace, bleaching my lace, yeah, yeah, bleaching my lace, bleaching my lace. <laughs> welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be doing a get ready with me this wig that i've got on my head right now girl what is going on this old raggedy short wig but i got myself a brand new who, who, who that who is you girl how you gonna sneak up on me like that how you gonna sneak up on me girl as I was saying, your girl got a new wig. Let me show you the wig that I got, right? Literally, just today, I got this new wig in the post from Ashy Mary Hair. I hope I'm saying it right. They sent me this lovely two-tone wig in 14 inches. I specifically requested for a short wig. I know this will look bomb really long. I got it in 14 inches because I did want a shorter wig. I've been wearing a long wig for a while. It's a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. 100% human hair. Touch the hair it actually feels so soft so i'm actually really excited to wear it i don't think the lace has been bleached yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop the wig onto boo right here hey girl what's popping girl you gonna get a new wig as well girl yes you is you bald headed right now girl bald head whole shit bald head whole shit what it is bald head whole shit girl you look good with your bald head Anywho, I'm going to pop this wig onto my mannequin head right here and I'm going to bleach the knots and then I'm going to see if I need to really pluck it or not. Oh, let me show you what else came in the bag. I got this hairpin that says sexy on it, some hair care info and I also got some lashes. I've been looking so bummy of recent, like this wig came at the perfect time. I want to, you know, just get ready, look cute, put on some makeup, maybe take some pictures outside and yeah, and just put on a fresh new wig. There is nothing like like putting on a fresh new wig okay even if you don't wear wigs just getting your hair done getting a fresh new hairstyle you know it, it makes you feel good but first let me get in the shower okay i'll be right back stay there go make a cup of tea pause this video subscribe if you haven't already turn the notifications on if you haven't already and i'll be back look at this wig look at this raggedy ass wig wow anyway guys i'm back i feel fresh i feel fresh i feel Fresh. That post gym shower or bath be here. Okay, I'm just saying. Right, so I've got the wig here. What I need to do actually is I need to cut these grips out because I don't actually like to use these grips in wigs. I don't need extra grips going into the side of my head. This grip at the back is more than enough. I'm gonna cut this off as well because I don't need that. I've got the peroxide and the powder. I'm gonna mix them inside my bowl. I've got my gloves here. Let me get mixing. Got to wear my gloves, honey. Gotta put my gloves on. Cause I ain't trying to bleach my hands. I ain't trying to bleach my hands. No, no. I ain't trying to bleach my hands. No. I like being black. Yeah. You have to basically mix it like you're mixing pounded yam or eba. My Nigerians will know what I'm talking about. And you kind of basically want it to be like a toothpaste consistency. So not runny. You don't want the bleach to run through the lace. You want the bleach to sit on the lace. I can just literally spread it like jam or peanut butter if you like peanut butter. Whatever your choice of spread is, it just needs to spread onto the lace. Right, okay guys, I'm ready to put the bleach onto the lace. Bleaching my lace, bleaching my lace, yeah, yeah, bleaching my lace, bleaching my lace, yeah, yeah, what it do, what it, what it do, yeah, what it do, what it, what it do, yeah. Bleaching my lace, bleaching my lace. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that done. Generally, I kind of just leave the bleach on for about 15 minutes or so. I come back and I keep checking it. So I'm gonna leave that to bleach. In the meantime, I haven't actually eaten anything since I've come back from the gym. So I'm gonna make myself a protein shake. I'll come back to you guys once I have washed out the bleach and show you guys what the lace is looking like. I'll also check if I need to pluck the lace and then we can start getting cute. We can start putting some makeup on and start getting 
looking cute or whatever okay but yeah i'm gonna put the wig on first and then do my makeup those of you who wear wigs right do you guys put your wig on first and then do your makeup or do you do your makeup and then put on your wig because i've seen people do both and for me personally i prefer having the wig already on my head like my edges laid everything done and then i will do my makeup because i feel like where the lace sits if I've already got makeup on there, when I wash my face and wash my makeup off at the end of the day, at the end of the night, like there's still makeup sitting underneath my lace and that bothers me, that gives me anxiety. So I feel like I prefer putting the wig on first and then when I wash my face, I know that there's no makeup underneath the lace. Like it's just the lace and my skin and that's it. Because if you leave your wig on for multiple days, then that means that the makeup that you did the first time when you put the wig on that makeup is still living underneath the lace if that makes sense okay so say today is tuesday right well today is tuesday i'm gonna glue this wig onto my head so imagine if i've already got makeup on i glue this wig on top of my makeup now i'm not gonna take the wig off at the end of today because it needs to stay on for at least a couple of days because i don't want to have to keep regluing it every day by this evening i'm gonna wash my face do my skincare routine the wig is still stuck on top of the makeup in this area right all the way around my edges right wednesday i put makeup on re my edges and just make sure everything is still neat like when i did it today now i've had two days of makeup and the wig is still on my head the makeup underneath the lace that was on my head today is now joined in matrimony with the makeup that i wore are you are you is it is it making sense is it making sense is it making sense are you guys getting what i'm saying so then if i'm still keeping the wig on my head thursday now comes and then i want to wear makeup on thursday i still have the residue the residue of the makeup on tuesday and wednesday i will now add thursday Is this what happens? Like, my wig is even falling off because the confusion is a lot. I'm just like, is, is this, is that what happens? Because that's how I think about it in my head. I don't know if this is actually the case for people who do this, but that's kind of what goes on in my head when it comes to putting a wig on top of your makeup. If you're gonna leave the wig on. Over those multiple days, that makeup is still there. The makeup is still there, living underneath that lace. That's what I'm thinking in my head. So that's why I prefer to not wear any makeup, put my wig on, and then put my makeup on. Anywho, that's, that's, that's my thought process on it. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. That's what I think is happening in my head. I don't know. So guys, this is what the lace is looking like. It actually matches my skin really, really well. It looks pretty good. FYI, this is the shampoo that I used to rinse the bleach out of the lace and basically to wash the whole hair. I think I might be able to get away with not plucking the edges on this one. I'm gonna pop the wig onto a ray data and try and get it to dry as quickly as possible i'm actually so excited to wear it it looks so so good one eternity later okay guys i'm not gonna lie to you it's actually two days later <laughs> ended up getting distracted and doing other things while my wig was drying but today we are back can you imagine a whole get ready with me taking like three days to get ready like i better be looking on point by the end of this video you feel me okay <laughs> i got my wig right here all dry and everything first things first we need to get rid of dora the explorer no the fuck she did not Hi. <laughs> okay guys, I've got my Ashy Mary wig on. I'm really feeling the tones it's giving me that autumn fall vibe. I've already cut off the excess lace and I've also trimmed the lace around my ear. I actually ended up plucking some of the lace, just a little bit. I didn't pluck that much. So I'm going to glue my wig on using the black got to be glue i don't use this to glue my wig down this is the yellow got to be spray i only use this if i like curl my hair and then i want the curls to stay in as long as possible so i'll spray this i'll use it as a holding spray what it's meant to originally be for but you know us black women have used it as glue to be gluing down our wig because we're just innovative like that you know what i'm saying we're just innovative like that we've been giving got to be some coins with our innovations when i used to actually spray that to glue my wig down before child 
brow I don't know what is in the chemical makeup of that spray but my skin did not like it my skin was not here for it at all I used to get like just skin irritation where I'll get like a rash or like a burning feeling on my skin and I was like nah my skin whatever's inside that spray my skin does not want it at all so I stopped using that yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with using this black got to be glued I'm actually looking forward to looking cute looking cute or whatever with my new Ash Mary wig or whatever I don't even know if I'm saying the brand's name properly but the way it reads to me is Ash Mary okay and I don't know why Mary is ashy I hope Mary gets herself some cocoa butter some shea butter some Vaseline or something because I don't know why Mary's ashy but I'm feeling ashy Mary's wigs okay <laughs> and that's all period <laughs> let's go back in with a blow dryer with a blow dryer uh, uh, yeah yeah do, do, do. Yeah, my, my baby it don't matter if you're black or white Okay, right, let me get this wig on. I have to like try and pull it right down like that. Y'all see that? I'll leave this side down. Okay, what I'm doing now, I'm just going over. I should be using my tail comb. I'm just gonna go around the edge of the lace with some more glue on the tail comb to secure all around the edge here just go in y'all see that i probably could have plucked this lace a bit more you know now that i'm looking at it but it's not bad maybe i shouldn't do baby hair should i do baby hair should i not do baby hair for the first time ever like in life <laughs> I feel like this is this is good enough for me to like not really need to do baby hairs like that Like I can just literally just have it just going back I'm addicted to baby hairs to be honest with you I love a baby hair <laughs> It's just my thing I just like it okay This lace is lacing If only I could pluck this lace better It would look 10 times more melted in Still looks pretty okay doesn't look too bad at all okay i'm gonna tie it down a little bit just to make sure that it's like secure in place before i do a little bit of edges do a little bit just a little bit of edges okay guys i'm just thinking i don't know if i should cut cut it into like a long bob to like here i don't know actually while we're waiting for my lace to lay how about we do a praise break those of you who have been watching my channel you guys know i love a praise break i've got every reason in the world to give god praise i'm gonna do a praise break while i'm waiting for my edges to lay okay Thank you, Jesus. Let me take this off now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wee. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Girl, this lace. Has she Mary come through? I need to get my nails done because I feel like I've got such a busy hairstyle with all these colors. I'm just thinking that I might need to have less busy nails. <laughs> Does anyone else think about how their hands look next to their hair and stuff? Because I do. If my nails are a certain color, 50 shades of blue nails on right now, I'm thinking it might be a bit much because I've got like 50 shades of blonde in my hair right now. But yeah, I'm thinking, you know what guys? I don't think I'm going to do edges. This is like a lot for me right now. This, this is a lot. The way that this lace is sitting on my head right now, I just feel like I don't need to put edges right now. Like, I don't think I need edges at this point in time. I won't do edges, but I'll do edges if that makes sense. <laughs> Got some mousse. It's just what I like to do. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just what I like to do. Let me see. Let me let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see something. I am absolutely gagging for a holiday. Like I need a holiday. I've seen a lot of people like traveling and stuff recently. I really wanted to like do a quick getaway somewhere. I've decided to go for an all back vibe. Minimize the edges. So strange to me to not have that soup thing there. Wow. I 
okay so guys i am done finally done getting ready got a little makeup on or whatever look at that face beat okay i am absolutely loving this wig like what look how nicely it's straightened shout out to ashy mary hair for sending me this wig and sponsoring this video i absolutely love this wig but yeah this is my finished get ready with me look i've actually just got on a knit dress it's like a long maxi dress i'm gonna take a cute little picture with my new wig my new look or whatever you guys can go over to my instagram and double tap that okay tap 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 in okay i'm loving this vibe for autumn i wonder what it's gonna look like if i like curl it a bit or i might have it with the ends flicked out and then see what it looks like with a side part in know you've just been looking any how for like days and weeks and then you finally put on some makeup do your hair put on a cute outfit and you're like oh okay so that's the bad b i knew i was I knew that bad b was in there somewhere okay she's just having a break she's just on holiday but when she's ready to come forth she's gonna come forth okay okay thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed my get ready with me sorry i couldn't show you guys how i did my makeup look if you do want to see a get ready with me where i'm doing my makeup comment and let me know if i get enough comments and likes on this video then i'll know that this is something that you guys want to see more of all the details of this wig will be in the description box i got you guys okay you guys can check out the description box for all the details and the links for this wig make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one bye guys